let's hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me on another installment of my video blog today in the practice. I'm going to be touching on tips that you need to be thinking about this Tuesday, which are in regard to scams that might be that might be targeted to you, more more likely to a loved one, and anyone who's either in a financially depressed situation or in a situation where they're maybe elderly or disabled and they may be susceptible to some financial pressure that could put them at risk for, for being scammed. So before I start though, I want to give a shout out to all of our neighbors, friends, colleagues, countrymen, and people in our community here and around the world who whose lives have been upended by the coronavirus pandemic. It has been a tough eight something weeks. A lot of economies are struggling and if not collapsed, a lot of people have been furloughed and we want you all to know that we are thinking about you, that our hearts are with you, that we are sending positive prayers and sentiments your way to lift you all up. I'm going to jump into things you can do to protect yourself next, but thank you again for joining me. Please like, subscribe, and share. If you have a question or comment, I'd love to respond to it either in this, uh, in a subsequent video series or in a, a video series just based on whatever your question or comment may be, as I have done in the past, or I'll, uh, in a direct message back to you on whatever video platform you may see this, LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, what have you. Thank you again for joining. And without further ado, I'm going to talk about tips that you can use to protect yourselves or a loved one against scammers. Mm -hmm.